In this episode of 43 Cast, we talk a little bit about the journey behind 43 Degrees, how we both met each other, a few stories, our failures, our achievements, and much more. I hope you enjoy it and thanks for being here with us. Hello, we are back. Good eye, Mike. How are you? back. We're back. Yes, this is our boys Rioni and Houghton with one more episode of 43 Cast, episode number three. I've been loving this journey, bro. How are you? Yeah, um, man. That's are you it. all right? Yeah, I'm always good. Yeah, doing fine. Surviving Cheers. this current time, crazy times. Yeah, staying at home for too long. Not that we haven't been at home. We're trying to be productive as much as we can. As you can <laughs> see, this podcast is rolling, isn't it? <laughs> bro, we are changing everything, trying new setups and stuff. I'm thirsty, yeah. So, uh, what's on? Oh, Let's what's on? With what's on? Yeah, so we just wanted to thank everyone for the feedback and watching the, these episodes, the 43 cast. It's been amazing. And um, we start this one talking a bit about how what, what's been going on with 43 and uh, Houghton and Rioni. Yeah. So, in terms of um, productions and uh, music, what's Label. been going on, Houghton? Labeling and everything, yeah. And also, we just um, got a few requests to talk about just the label specifically and our journey as well. So this episode, we're going to dedicate just about it, right? Yes. So, and thanks for requesting this kind of stuff. Yes. Like, uh, oh, the feedback, it's, it's all we need. Like, we need yeah, feedback. So we can keep it going. shaping the episodes. Well, to start with what's on, what's going on, um, yeah, we just, me and 91, we just finished one not finished, but we on the way to finish. Yeah. Uh, collab track. Nice. By the way, thanks for the video you just did yeah. for us. Loved it's it. Yeah. Cool. I didn't expect that much feedback from the video, but it was <laughs> because it was the video was so good. Nice. Um, we got like requests, like people asking for the for the track, but actually okay. we haven't finished yet. So. <laughs> but that's it. You know, like you guys were there producing. I just decided to come in and like shoot some behind the scenes and stuff. And it's actually, it came out pretty well, yeah. Yeah, so we just finishing this track, so yep. big shout to 91. Um, oh boy. And congrats for your release on Sprout as well. Big shout to Dinox. Oh, yes, Dinox and Stan Kolev for, he, for he, the remix. He actually, yeah, and he actually the was the one that asked, asked for the track. Uh, oh, yeah, nice. It so is a solid shout. track. It's coming nicely, yeah, bro. Yeah, we're yeah. just trying different sounds and yeah dark and grew i don't know we'll see how it goes 100 percent. i'll put the link for the video with a little preview of the yeah, tunes yeah. on the description so you can have a listen yeah and um yeah so all, actually this track is going to be part of uh, a new project by houghton 43 coming yes. up which is a nine track album isn't That's it true. first time i'm talking about it to be honest yes we never yeah. spoke about it with anyone Cause yeah, I just um, feel like having a challenge. Yeah, working in different genres, not completely different, but that's why I we had the idea to work on an album. Yeah, just adding more like organic instruments, vocals, different stuff, and showing a little bit of the roots in terms of music. Yes, I like so this it's track nice. with Nine One probably gonna include in the album. Yeah, also something that I can tell. Can I? No, nah. no, no, we can't tell. But it's a track that everyone's been asking. It's yeah. gonna be in the album as well. <laughs> exactly. Um, like we three or the four actually four of the labels act, um, ask for the for this track mentioning, but you can't mention. Yeah, but sorry guys, Which it's I'm taken. Really, really, really grateful for. Yes. thank you, because it, it means it's, it's a good track. Exactly. But I decided to put in the album. Yes. So. so this is something that is happening now yeah. in terms of. Like in these crazy Easy, times yeah. of uh, quarantine, so I am working on an album. So the big tip, if you want to start working on, on your big project, if you're a DJ producer. It's a good challenge to yeah, do. Yeah, just you have time now, so. Yes. Yeah, and also your latest remix to Pantheon and Made in Paris on Interphonic, new yes. label by Pantheon. Doing some rounds around the world already. Some people playing. Man. Shout out to DJ Ruby as well for, yeah. for playing the track. He played my remix and also the tra I think the original. The original. Played on Triple J. Yeah, it's been making some waves already. Shout out to Pantheon and Made in Paris as well. Yes. Solid tunes. Solid tune. And I think yeah. it's a promising label. It is, man. They're doing a nice job with the branding and yeah. a, uh, promotional as well. Really good. Yeah, so 
uh, just check it out. Interphonic. Interphonic. Yeah, we put the link as well in the description. Always. I drink so much water today, man. Yeah, but that's good, man. It's like people are coming there. Well, you don't stop drinking water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, you're gonna have to take a piss break. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's a good start just to say about um, what's going on. We've been, we're going to be talking about what's going on uh, on the next episode every time we start, just to give a little bit of fresh news. Fresh news, yeah. yeah. Like what's happening? It's good. You know, yeah, the new plans. And exactly. It's good. And about everything, not just about you or me or the for the free. Like exactly. Like just mentioned Interphonic, which is a great label yes. that is coming up. And um, much more, much more stuff happening. Yes. And we're just waiting this um kind of season of virus to end so we wait oh, for man. the for the events to pump again oh, i can't wait to go and, um, back bro but it's getting soon we it's hope, getting yeah as soon as long events. as people stay at home and help this thing to stop and the curve line goes down please yes all right so also final shout out on the what's on wilbur coast of souls ep is out True. now doing some waves True. people are feedbacking on our promo pool on in-flight uh, really good. Thank you, everyone who's been playing it and supporting the track. Wilbur is a talented, talented producer from UK. Yeah, he really just signed tracks. on Kenja. Yeah, on Kenja from, by Ronnie. From yeah, Ronnie Spiteri, yeah. just right before signing with us. Exactly. So yeah, he's a really solid talented guy. Yeah, solid production. Shout out. And we did a um, premiere of Delusions, the side B of the EP, on Electronic Groove. So yes. Electronic Groove have been helping us a lot with the SoundClouds and premieres. They great to work with. Great platform, yeah. They spot on on everything they're doing, and I, I'm just really happy with you know with this the part, way they work. Yeah, with this yeah. partnership. Yeah, so good. Electronic Groove, check it out. Hubert Delusions, premiere on SoundCloud on 43 Degrees. Awesome. Yes. 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 Um, all right, let's start talking about the journey and uh, just hopefully we can bring some value from what we experience. So people who are starting now or whoever already doing some stuff, they can learn from our mistake and avoid them, you know? Because to be honest, we did 90% mistakes. Well, 99, <laughs> I would say, and man. Now, and now like the, just the 10% is just the things we think, fuck, is working a little bit, <laughs> but because we, we did so much shit before. Oh yeah, man. But it's good, man. It's good. We, we were actually just researching on our hard drives and yeah. old archives and stuff, and there's so many stuff that we wish we have done differently if we had the experience we had we have now. Kind of tricky because that that happened, and uh, because we did it in the wrong way, we changed exactly the way we're thinking. So to me, mate, I live my it. life in this like this, you know, like. Do mistakes, learn, and don't repeat them. So we met in 2016, and then... Yeah, 15, um, I, th 15, I think, you know? Oh, 15. Like, oh, September. It was your birthday. It was my birthday, yeah, my I birthday was party. desperate to find someone to work with that I could put my energy on and I could share my ideas because I didn't have any anyone in mind. And then uh -huh. we met, and then you said I'm a designer. And that's how we we started like and then i said man i want to open a record label we yeah in three months open uh, 43 degrees records and um actually you asked me for a website before remember uh, yeah. that yeah True. <laughs> i'm just going away too yeah, fast yeah you're right you're right yeah. yeah no but it was fun because you asked me for a website and i was like mm, maybe, maybe you should change your logo and this my and logo. that show my logo today. yeah yeah we, oh, I'll, I'll put yeah look at this <laughs> i'll put the logo here somewhere <laughs> it was like too commercial i mean it doesn't fit look, your sound you yeah, know it didn't look, fit your sound the, the thing is if you're a dj producer don't do your logo <laughs> yes <laughs> don't do it ask a professional <laughs> Just focus on your music, cause I've seen like so many people. I know it's expensive. Sometimes people don't have the money to pay yeah. someone, and it's fine. Like just yeah, try yeah, it out. Yeah. But my logo was terrible. <laughs> uh, I prefer. I did the new one. Uh, honestly, I prefer it. Well, is well it, it that's fits. why it's been yeah. there for five years. The new one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and then after that, uh, we started connecting, and like uh, you, you came with the idea of the label. Uh, we already told on the first episode about the name and then we I started doing a few logos and we we, we actually started not as a record label per se yeah. 
yes. it was just like a brand, a party brand. Yeah, to we used break, to do to break down a little bit, like yeah. you're saying, in terms of record label. We didn't understand the distribution part. Nothing at all. We didn't understand the royalties. We yeah. didn't understand publishing. Um, the publishing. Yeah. We didn't understand um, promotion the stores. Yes, mastering, mixing. mixing like, yes, and actually, it's like something that you literally can today with the technology just google it and in one week you have a will have a label yeah set up exactly yeah but it doesn't mean it's going to be good exactly well, like it's, it's not hard actually yeah. it is not hard yeah. it's getting so easy to open a label now yeah you it's get a, a distribution and that's it you put your music yeah there. so then we had to actually look up to first to every single thing i just mentioned like the distributed shirt yeah distribution, the distribution um, the the mastering all the process and then we start digging and we saw like fuck yeah, maybe <laughs> we're not ready we, for yeah, it no and <laughs> the good thing was we actually opened the business before yeah. we started yeah so it's like let's do it doesn't matter a big good mistake exactly because because of that we were rushing to do things because you said fuck now he's, there's no way back yes exactly <laughs> and we start working with symphonic yeah, Symphonic was our, our, our distributor. It still is. Still. They're really good. Yeah, never disappointed. Yeah. Really good. They're from Tampa, US, yeah. um, uh, in Florida. And uh, they're really good with uh, communicating everything. So it helped us a lot. There's a few like guidelines, guides to follow. Yeah, they help as well with like um, putting on Beatport. On, yeah. On everywhere you want. Yeah. yeah. And there's only a few. Uh, only f a few labels like two um distributors like two or three that works with big ports no it's not all of them yeah it's not all of them yeah because so most of them are more for like r b uh other other uh diff different di genres, yeah, genres yeah, yeah. But for like the if, there's, so if there's you, a few yeah if you're looking to to work or to yeah you know, towards uh opening a symphonic label, yeah just have a look on symphonic. it's a good one yeah yeah it's been there but forever, it was but. fun I, I, I like it the fact that we started uh, a record label, 43 Degrees Records, but we were just doing events and promoting parties and exactly. we, uh, doing mixtape series. By the way, we found something on the archives. Look, look at this, the, <laughs> the artwork of the first mixtape on SoundCloud. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, it's not terrible. It's just is is nothing compared to now, to you now. know, but it was that's, that's a good thing. Like we we, we were always achieve, yeah. uh, thriving to do something professional, you know? Tr always trying to do something better. Better, all the time, yeah. All the time. And I reckon that is like the way it should be, you know? People should always look at their work and compare with actual actual quality stuff or big stuff and see, oh, okay, I, I am aware that this is different. This is much more higher standard. But I can't do this like financially, and like I don't have the knowledge. But as long as you know, it's my goal. Yeah, it's the goal. Yes. So you 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 pretty much on the way. I you think, know. I think this exactly what you're saying is a lesson for life. A hundred percent. To a lot, to a lot of stuff. Not self awareness. Self awareness. Yes. Thank you. Yes. This is massive, guys. As long as you are self aware. If you're self aware, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Go no. for it. But I love talking about self-awareness <laughs> because it's saving lives yes because a lot of people don't have they just <laughs> most of them they, they they literally they have no idea that is not up to the standards they think it is you know i think self-aware self-awareness uh, brings you down to earth humility as yeah well. yeah you think more where to go how um, how to get better no. and um how you uh, just gonna get some water yeah um, yeah, it just brings you more like hum humility. So you just think, how can I get better? And being self-aware, you're just gonna look to your thanks, bro. Doors. You just look to your weak points, and that's when you start working on your weakness. Is when you start getting better. But if you're not self-aware, you never you're gonna change. Too yeah, good exactly. If you think you're too good, you're gone, mate. Yeah, in terms of everything. Yeah. A good example of that is your very, very first track, Cats and Wolves. Jesus, <laughs> bloody Christ. Oh, man. Uh, which that actually very, we've very been thinking a lot about redoing this because it was so nice. Like, I felt so good doing the artwork, you know, the promo. I remember pushing this you like it was... so passionate about this artwork. <laughs> I was. I still am, man. <laughs> because you won. I love it. And you won. 
you want the oh yeah it's true this got me on the adobe uh artwork of the day adobe's yeah and it was the first ever first ever release on 43 yes. first ever tune you actually released we, we took we took down after a while because yeah. we realized it was absolutely like amateur like yeah well the thing we did we did it because we we just thought yeah let's do some shit. yeah, yeah. <laughs> then after three years we said yeah, that, yeah it wasn't it wasn't yeah. something that we just want we're proud of yeah, it yeah. was like it was just a start it yeah it was a trial yes trial 100 percent. yeah so that's but it's why good to time. have this in the memory because we keep remembering this and getting back to earth you're like may you see how we started bro yes and look now you have a track on knee deep you have a big track big artists playing your tracks nobody will ever play cats and wolves man no, that one <laughs> that's what i say about yeah. self-awareness exactly yeah if you don't have it it's hard to get better yeah and it's still now like it's like i'm every single day we're trying to get better exactly no we're saying all this oh, man. not because we achieved something that we oh yeah 100 top, top of the yeah. mountain no no even yeah 50 percent of what we want to achieve not even and that's yeah. what we're going to talk about the future as well today exactly <laughs> yeah because that's it life is about a long journey it so. is man it is if you don't think on the long term you you're doomed you know if you if you just think oh i'm gonna do my first track and then uh in the first year you don't get any signings nobody wants to sign it mate we we never thought about this that's i think is something that hold us together up until now and just a quick tip don't sign don't sign everything yeah tracks. we say that on the first episode. Yeah, first episode yeah yeah but we didn't yeah i think we said yeah but like yeah, just do 30 tracks exercise yeah that's something um, we 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 wish we knew but i think is our just a little bit off the conversation but i think a little bit about our generation that wants everything so quick yeah let's the instagram it, let's generation yes it's the thing and let's post it let's do it and let's promote it let's do it and let hang on a sec is it good yeah do stuff quietly f yeah when you're not mastering the subject you know and that actually was a good chemistry between you and me when we started because i was a hundred percent i'm not sure i'm not sure yes um maybe because i was the excited and one you like, were the excited one man, 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 let's do it yeah and that was actually helped me a lot to just say let's release this shit then yeah because i didn't want to i had this self-awareness in the beginning uh -huh. in the beginning to do like this is not good i knew it was that was perfect good. man yeah because i wasn't was educated good. in the music uh, universe but then yeah, you yeah. said man just do it and then yeah. you're gonna do a better one and then i just wanted to do me. marketing and promo and like yeah. designs and do video promos and stuff and you were like mate it's not good yet man it's not yeah and we got judged a lot a lot mate we got judged a lot a lot a lot of people i could feel that didn't appreciate what we we're doing but on the other side other people a lot of people did appreciate it yeah. because uh i think in this industry you have to show personality as well exactly when, when yeah you start getting like more friends and then this yeah. friend started supporting even they knowing that wasn't that good but then we were in respect and then starting getting better and then getting better yeah things goes in, yeah you know and that you, you you know what happened already yeah but yeah so then I, I reckon the game changing was when we when we uh signed Roni Spiteri that we changed the design and the whole branding of the label of the label because was yes. the first uh, new artworks and uh and then we decided to uh we understood more about mastering and mixing and uh we decided to look after good experienced producers as well and uh yes. and bring bring other people from all around the world to the label just to broad because the first the first mass of the label it was really hard because we, yeah. we didn't we couldn't find like the sounds we wanted we didn't know the we sign didn't know we wanted. Much yeah. Yeah. it was really hard to find good i mean we found good producers but it wasn't something that we were looking at at the yeah. moment but it was the beginning and then in the second year the things started happening yeah in yeah. our first first like release of this new phase of the label was well, with Ronnie Spiteri. Yeah, this Koteca EP, I remember. Yeah, yeah. And like Ronnie Spiteri now is huge. He changed the sound already. He's going a bit yeah. more techno. He's techno, yeah. 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 And by the way, we just started a label with 
tech house exactly like straightforward yeah tech house tech we house. we did a, a few melodic as well but it wasn't it wasn't old old uh, sounding you know like but th that's the thing the older genres doesn't 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 mean like the tech house deep house, or whatever house or techno is it changes it changes yeah it changes yeah. like um, tech house is a dirty word now and you know some people say it's too yeah, commercial to judge it but a lot of things change yeah you know like even on the techno you know, like every every genre has this yeah this kind of mainstream guys and this kind of like commercial guys but then yeah. we started releasing only the people we knew it and the people we knew it was just tech house but we yeah. liked we liked all the all, all the yeah. tracks but then i wasn't this is not exactly how i want to yeah what I, you were the I want sound to go. yeah i wanted a specific Pat, yeah. sound and then i was trying to at the same time find to discover create it, the yeah. sound myself yeah and to get better as a producer so i could yeah. show on the label the yeah. sounds i wanted to release yeah so it was a label journey and um personal journey as well as a hundred percent yeah and your journey as well yeah promoting of, it and marketing yeah in terms of the design managing as well. you as well like and a lot of people come to me i'm very humble by when people say oh i want i wanted to be my manager you're such a good manager for the boys for houghton and i'm like hey i never <laughs> like study about this i i was doing everything on the go with you and yeah. try and never try and never try and never and things were starting to happen and i started to research and study a bit more how to do this how to do business how to uh network how to do everything and th things started happening and yeah and then after like three four no four years, four years of, yeah. of, three of, three of and a half yeah. degrees records we opened the yeah, agency, with the agency because, yeah because of these requests because of these requests yeah and and because i was getting a lot a lot of bookings as well yeah thanks for all, all the promoters that liked <laughs> My, <laughs> my my dj sets um, yeah then uh, i said mate i am just like getting so much gigs that i'm not sleeping much and and, and just, just just something that people some i think some people a lot of people don't know when i when i arrived in australia i i started working as a chef here uh -huh. so in this transition of record label DJing, starting business, and yeah. chefing, and yeah. starting the business. I wasn't sleeping. Yeah, I remember that. You were leaving I the know. gig at 4 a.m. and going to work at 6 30. And this is something you're gonna mention as well in the end. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. There's a good quote by Yeah, Patrice Beaumont. Yeah, because yeah. uh, what we were planning to talk is um we've been working so hard for four years and uh i was i had i just finished my last day at my day job yesterday so now i'm full on 43 degrees which i'm really happy like very grateful for the work but while i was in both opening a business and working on daytime and you on the kitchen and like doing we, we were doing so much that we were a bit catering of our sleep we were not sleeping i wasn't no. sleeping at all and the thing is like we we achieved a lot of stuff we pr we were proud of for yeah. some people might not be but for us is and for a lot of people is to yeah mentioning but at the same time we had day jobs exactly like and um side hustling is yeah it's crazy man yeah um, i can tell so many stories about it oh man a hundred percent but going uh, back to the label yeah no because yeah because <laughs> we're gonna spend like three hours yeah here. this episode is gonna be long guys buckle uh, up <laughs> but we started with ronnie spiteri and then the label started growing better design yeah. designs and yeah we started getting better sounds that i was actually looking for and then we start changing a little bit from yeah. more like deep i reckon after after ronnie after about 10 releases we found our sound the deeper progressive uh, melodic groove that we that we always wanted and gladly today we found and we're very happy with the music that we decided to release and uh it's getting a, char a character you know it's yes that because like a lot a lot the a lot of producers doing so many so many stuff today that sometimes yeah. there's no it's not original and also the labels and is until you get this 
right, yeah. thing like that you this is our sound takes takes long years yeah it takes years yeah and it's it's taking years and it's still taking yeah i mean we we say that we found now but we never know tomorrow next yeah. year we're probably going to change i don't know yeah it always like this you know so today we're just trying to sign sign better good, quality stuff good, yeah good and different music in yeah progressive house house deep yeah tech. Yeah, because if you compare, mate, with with your old stuff, you used to play like more uh, gangster house, you know, like this uh, classic house. Um, yeah, more classic. Yeah, house. playing at Ivy Pool, and yeah. yeah, I remember home. Yeah, my first party for house in, brands in in Sydney in in Australia was um, Pook Up. Pook Up, yeah. yeah. We were just watching watching the videos. Yeah, uh, it, it's fun to watch back, man. It's fun. <laughs> and um, that's when I met Beth Yen. Yeah, she yeah. She was uh, killing. She's still, but yeah. she was like already. Oh yeah, fucking hell. Four years ago, DJ and Batfian was killing in the game, and yeah, like uh, it's, it's, it's fucking six years, seven years ago, I was playing more classic house. Uh huh. And then uh, I started going more underground, but I always liked underground. Yeah. But it's it, when you. But that's the thing. When you start playing, and you get, it, sometimes you don't have the option. Yeah, to yeah. Play what you just have to play what the house wants, what club what wants, the yeah. wants, and and you just like a small DJ. Yeah. So you just gotta show and just play what but, people want. But bro, that's part. Yeah, that's, that's part of the process. You have to. That's the hustle. Like to fit in, you know. Yeah, and I remember the first first ever gig, I played hip hop in here. Nice. Don't get me wrong, hip hop fans. I don't no. like hip hop. No, and by the way, everything, ev all the genres we spoke about, I love. I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's just that we don't work with this anymore because we decided to move to a different yeah. sound. And the thing, I like, I wasn't in the hip hop world, but I knew how to DJ. Uh huh. Anyway. Same. So I put like, some tunes. Yeah, let's play yeah. hip hop just to to get the gig. So uh -huh. and networking and stuff. So it was my hustle as a DJ. Awesome. Now that we're very happy, it's good that we look back and see all the rejections, all the failures and everything we learn about, you know, like uh, people say no a lot to us, you know, yeah. uh, some people that we actually work, uh, worked a lot of times uh, recently uh, in the beginning used to not reply emails or just reply, not interested, you know, uh, and it's, yeah. it's very good and it's part of the journey. So one thing that we always had is like believe uh on our potential and in our vision and just keep hustling and improving the quality and working um, hard and working hard and now we've j we just came from a tour in brazil tour more tour for you and like a holiday for me which i was yes. needing it okay. after four years uh over overworking like workaholic mode on and uh, you just came from the mind games tour in brazil finishing now at the days like this just tell us a little bit how was the tour mate it was amazing um brazil is a really great cu country the scene is getting hot in there it's already hot in there Ooh. the scene is amazing i got surprised because i left so so long like eight, eight nine years ago and um universal parallelo yes it is like something everyone should experience at uh -huh. least once lifetime i'm very sad i didn't go man and but i'll Sint go in next time sintra um big shout out to him he big was shout. the one who, who invited me to, to to play in there also um edna sharif uh, yes he invited me to play at the edge the iconic the edge it was a dream coming true awesome because you're from sao paulo and you've, you've seen correct i'm yeah. from sao paulo the edge is just like um everyone knows is the we call it the mecca uh -huh. which is the club right and um it was great so i spent a good time with the family and everyone and um i'm looking forward to go back and, awesome and finishing the tour here on uh, days like this uh scott did a, did a great job in there it was amazing festival. it was very good and yeah I just played before anna another brazilian so i'm yes. feeling so blessed oh man it is and and it's good to look back and see everything that we did um you played at seas seas festival as seas, well uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, three years festival anniversary yeah in south of brazil and then inbox in, uh, in, curitiba. in box in curitiba yeah we did also our first 
overseas 43 degrees event there it was very nice thank you Bado and uh uh inbox guys for having it was, us it was, it was very nice party. shout out to the boys from Curitiba we had Manu Manu Neves, Manu Neves from here yeah from here playing for us in yeah Curitiba she was there as well it was it was great. The boys that signed on 43 as well, Kensi and Foleto. Kensi and Foleto, Saudan. Saudan. Yeah. So it was a showcase. It was that nice. was very fun. Was yeah. Super nice. And uh, big yeah. shout out to them. Yeah. But I also, um, I think from this trip to me, the most important part was refreshing the energy, you know, yes. hitting the reset button. Because we've been four years, no, not good not five. sleeping well, well even, five years yeah, almost yeah, five yeah almost five but like but no stop yeah non-stop at all like working nice. until two three four a.m five a.m uh sleeping three four hours five hours but after this because i i gave myself the privilege of actually not work at all for one month during we stay with my family you know uh with my old friends from brazil and to be honest i was burning out bro i was burning my head was i was about to explode i i, I actually I, say yeah. that to uh to geo to my wife and i was like like man you're very stressed you're very stressed yeah uh, and uh it's crazy because you start getting like all those anxious anxious yeah and you start like raising problems because actually you need some rest exactly and that's the hook you wanted to Put in the table that for Patrice Bomel. Yeah, because he posted uh, before a few weeks ago a very nice post say, talking about his leap and how his routine was too hard on him. And now that he's changed, he's doing much better. Because what he said on the post, we're going to put the link here so you have a read. It's a quick read. But he said that even your creativity starts to fade down, you know, to to go away with, with the stress and the anger. Ang- anxiety and there's a lot of pressure as well yeah. imagine touring and thinking about the time the, the schedule like uh air, airports and then um you mix that with uh drinking a lot yeah drugs, doing drugs doing yeah drugs, and then don't sleep properly and then it goes and goes and goes on and goes on and you're gone yeah and we need our heads like super clean yeah. to create more because yeah. um this, in this industry people want you to create and create and create and create that's our everyday pressure it is to create more content yeah. more music more us exactly and, um, and it's and it's complicated hard. when because it's a party environment it's complicated when people start to mix things because this is a dream this is a work you know if you don't treat it like work if you treat it like pleasure and and just fun you're gonna go too hard on the drinks too hard on the drugs and you're not gonna focus on the actual work and you're gonna get uh you're gonna lose control you know correct it, and the, the, this is something that dinox once mentioned to 91 uh-huh and uh 91 actually we have we were having this conversation uh-huh. and he said just work hard then you party hard exactly yeah. do your stuff first and then you do whatever you want yeah because you can no. exactly but that's something that the, the the guys in the beginning they just mix it up they just like go party in and go hard and yeah hard. but man benders you, yeah but you need to focus on your music on your craft before yeah. so people can respect you more a hundred percent bro because if you if you don't focus and you go too hard you go, you're not gonna treat it as a job as an actual career and as, a, as something serious you know and this changed the whole game right because your health is is very important i think i think our job is already fun you have to treat oh it is fun. yeah but the problem is when it's not fun when you damaging your health exactly no and if you and if you just doing the fun and not doing the work you know <laughs> just fun <laughs> yeah just go to parties play some tunes uh ah, drink ah, yeah just i know you know <laughs> yeah but but bro after i came back from brazil with my whole mind on reset mode i started going to the gym i started working out and uh, sleeping midnight maximum i set a limit to myself working uh uh waking up five uh, six a.m going to the gym before work life is about balance balance 100 percent, and this changed my whole day 
completely, mate. Like this quarantine times, I've been I've been a bit lazy on the gym side. Because we but, can't work out properly. Yeah, because I, I prefer a gym workout than a Same. home one. But I, we we did a bit of a run to, this morning this just morning. to just it was to a wake long up. Run it was five minutes. <laughs> 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 but we tried. Yeah. But it, yeah. But um, it's very important, mate. Because uh, in the past we were just too hard, too hard, and uh, it it was damaging us, man. But that's it. We just but choose to work hard. Lesson uh, learned. Lesson learned. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, uh, balance more yeah. things we want, and that's it. Like, life, yeah. l- life is just about the balance. As it you is, say. man. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not here patronizing, saying you just have to work and work 24 hours and then sleep and then work and then sleep. You have to. You need your pleasure time, your leisure. You know, practicing. Yeah, you gotta practice a lot. I love but, this word practice. Yeah, but one thing is, people need to constantly be reminding themselves that their body can't take much this and much that you know you need you need to keep reminding yourself about the balance and to be healthy uh eat well uh work out do exercises and, and then after that when you're starting realizing how the, the important how important is that the labels start growing more our promo list is starting getting stronger we got 100%. some supports from uh, big guys big, big guys yeah. like top artists like hernan catania Hot scenes, Oxia, Guy Manso, a lot of guys we look up to. Yeah. So that's the balance you're saying, and uh, and I'm really proud to say that, and, and and happy to say that because we we manage well. So we yeah, we get yeah. support from these yeah. from, from the people we we admire. A hundred percent. Yeah. And especially me coming from an advertising world, it's it's always going overnight, you know, like people are always going home after work hours and I I literally burn and made this this trip, this holiday changed my life. I'm very happy that I realized this and I wanted to share this more. And I spoke about this on my on my social media as well. But I think that's something you have to keep pushing, you know, to people who understand that you have to rest, sleep, uh, put your mind, even meditate if you fancy, you know, uh, cold showers as well really helps. That's crazy. This is amazing. Yeah. Thank you for the tip. Mate, wake up, (laughs) big tip. Wake up, cold shower. It sucks. Yeah. But you just look gonna be like buzzing. Cause sometimes I was having way too much coffee, three, four, five a day because I wanted an energy and I couldn't have the proper energy. Cold shower straight away, boom. And then a coffee, a cheeky coffee. Yeah. And then I was on fire the whole day. Four or five. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and um, food as well, man. Food helps. Food as food well, is 90%, yeah. Food percent you know, yeah. of, the, of the job. So stay healthy. Stay s- healthy. Stay hungry. Yes. Work hard and balance. Balance, yeah. And demos. Demos, Let's talk about yeah. Demos. Yeah, by the way, I might, I, I read this a lot. A lot of label managers saying that, uh people complain producers oh labels don't reply and stuff it's not easy to reply but we listen to everything Every. everything that people send on our form every single track every single track look everything we listen everything don't think we don't listen we've listened we every listen every to everything track. Yeah. and we don't answer back when you send a genre we don't yeah we don't sign exactly like, uh i received like EDM. disco edm yeah i received like not joking i have metal track <laughs> guys jesus christ it's electronic music yeah you need to do your research before you, you send first. stuff but i reckon these come a lot from like people desperate people they don't, don't really know. know what they're doing they Probably just send someone is spamming us spamming like, yeah this happens a lot just do your research. Don't say it like study the label you wanted to sign. Yeah. Do a track that you think will fit the You'll label. Fit the label. And yeah. if you don't want to fit in any label, it's fine too. It's fine. You can create your own label. Put it as free download. Yeah. If you yeah. have the big balls, do it. Yeah. But if you fi- want to sign on the labels that you 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 like, just study what they the sound, sound their yeah. sound and just work towards it. Like because uh, sometimes the track is even good but it's a different genre too yeah that's actually something that koyo was saying to dean Zlato on his live oh, he was lit- he was listening to a few demos uh live and he listened to dean Zlato's track and he was like 
oh, it's very good. I'll, I'll have to listen with more care later, yeah. but might not fit for the label, but I played his tracks on my sets and stuff. So that's another side of the story as well. Like Sometimes you're ready. Even yourself, you want yeah. to play, you may play a track, but we don't want to sign it to brand as 43 degrees records because we have a vision in terms of sound policy for that. Yeah. And we don't want to run too much away from what we think is, is, uh, is perfect for the label. So um, it doesn't mean the quality is bad. Yeah, sometimes you, the producer is ready, the track is good, has quality, but it's a just different genre, different yeah. vibe. Different vibe from the label. So yeah. it's really important like. And, that, and that's actually, is, I reckon when, when people are ready is, is when they should actually open a label if they want to. Like I remember chatting with this, uh, with Ronnie, he opened uh, Kenja Records f to release his own tracks because yeah. he didn't know how to send, who to send to, and he opened and he released yeah. his own tracks. And he's starting, you know, creating a, uh, a, a base of, of fans. Exactly. And wanting their new sounds. Exactly. So it's kind of good to like. Um, and I reckon one of the good best parts of having a record label is uh, the networking part as well, isn't it? True. Well, yeah. the networking it helps because you connect with the whole world. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can um, uh, just do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Know, like because in you can get new releases and uh, gigs and it's, yeah. it's, that's a good all the all other stuff of having a record label as well. So. A hundred percent. Well, but I reckon we are extending a bit now, so that's a wrap. That's Don't you right, think? Man. We spoke a lot. We probably might come back to a few subjects later. We're gonna. We've been digging a few uh, stuff from the archive. I wanna. I wanna put some stuff out, man. It's just so nice to see the progress we've made. We, I'm so proud you know, of you know this. You know what you can do. I have an idea. Um, the, in the end of this of this podcast, I'll put a bunch of videos. You put a bunch of videos like bam, bam, That's bam, good. Bam, just so people understand how we how we started and deal uh, how we uh, how we now how we change the quality where you want yeah. to go because 100 percent i'll do this we not stopping at all we are not gonna stop guys so you're Just gonna have to you're gonna have to suck it in and <laughs> we, you're gonna see us many times no, yeah. we just, we just <laughs> we're just good people like yeah, so it are. won't be that hard yeah <laughs> Cheers, uh, mate. If you like 43 degrees, send your demos. I need some uh, new fresh. We, we fresh need fresh shit. tunes for fresh the second semester. For the second semester and yeah. for the next year. Just yeah. make sure you know what you're gonna send because if it's not yeah. the right fee, I'm not gonna reply. We're not gonna. Yeah, we're not because gonna sign. That's, yeah. We've been a bit more strict now with the releases, so yeah, make sure and you will understand. I reply and kiss you in the cheek if the track is good. It's but we just a, might not sign yeah, it. Yeah, it's just about sounding. Exactly. That's it. That's a wrap, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, send us your feedback. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, a bit of our story and the background. And that's it. Yeah, we tried a different setup. So hopefully. Hopefully it is good. Yeah. If not. Whatever. Cheers. Cheers. Take care, Have guys. Stay one. safe. Stay home. Stay creative. And stay creative. Love you, mate. Cheers. And I'll see you on the next episode. Woo! Peace.